Have an H&R Block Tax Pro do your taxes online, and tax season feels just as good as all those other seasons, like wedding season. I W-2 you. Taxes. <laughs> File from anywhere with the expertise of an H&R Block Tax Pro. Heads. All Test. right. Hey, we may have something there. I think we do. <laughs> All right.
we had a short. We've had some issues with our audio here uh, through the first inning, uh, in and out. Way to stick with us. Yes. Yeah, we appreciate it. We have it. a genuine following here. I got people yep. sending messages. So coming to the plate will be Cambria Hansen, I believe. I can't see her number. Uh, for Loretta, first pitch strike from Lindsay. Next pitch down and in. Strike two. So two quick ones for Lindsay. Summertown trailing one to nothing. Loretto with a few hard hit balls on the in the first inning. They got through the infield. One that took a bad hop and uh, mishandled one. And uh, Loretta has a 1-0 lead. Lindsey grounded into an inning inning double play back to the pitcher to end that bottom of the first. Adam, so who is this? That will be Hanson, I believe. Cambria Hanson, number 18. Cody. One ball, two strike count to Hanson. Pitch from Lindsey. That's going to be grounded to Abbott, and that's going to be get through for a base hit. So Loretta's coming out swinging the bat well today. They've been hitting some hard ground balls that have just gotten through. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even watch the whole first inning, so I don't even know what happened right there. But I look up, and uh, Loretta's got a run on the board, and I'll have. That will be, I will bring Carly Urban to the plate. The seven hole hitter, you'd be curious if they're going to bunt or not to try to move that runner, but we'll see. I don't. She didn't square that time, so Lindsay's going to go high with the ball. Ball one. There's already some action down in the bullpen for Summertown. Already. Pitch from Lindsay. Down. Fouled away. One and one. So a couple quick early errors in the top yeah. of the first. It sounded like that gave uh, Loretta the scoring option there. Pitch from Lindsay. There's the square, and that's going to be fouled off on the bunt attempt. Well, and you know there were some questionable balls that could have been made plays on, but they were also you know there was a couple of them that were hit hard too. Yep. So I'm not sure how they'd be scored, but you know I know their plays Coach Burleson would want you to make, but I know some of them were hit so. Uh, Loretta's come out aggressive here. Carly's going to be down one ball, two strikes here to Lindsay. Here's the pitch. That's going to go high, 2-2. Two -two. On deck is Breeley Winters, eight-hole hitter for Loretta. That's going to be popped up foul. That'll hit the net out of play. Summertown with the setup right here that Loretta just ended the bottom of the first with. That, uh, what was that, a 1-6, one, 1-6-3 six, one, six, double? Yeah, nice play. They turned it beautifully. Yeah, they did. That was about all I caught from that inning. Pitch to Urban. Good That's going to be down and in, ball three. So Carly's worked it to a full count here. Runner on first, no outs. Pitch from Lindy. That's going to be ball four. And Lindy's walked the second batter of the inning after a base hit. And here comes Coach Burleson out to have a discussion. Uh, not the way you want to start if you're Summertown, especially Lindsay on the mound today. This is uh, has not looked very good, very sharp at all today. Very uncharacteristic by this group right here. So we'll There's take. Just, uh, let's go ahead and take a break with them, Adam. We'll be all right. We'll be back here in just a moment. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. All right, we're back. Coach Burleson having a discussion with his pitcher in his infield. First and second here for Loretta. No outs. Breeley Winters at the plate. Here's the pitch. There's the bunt square. That'll be bunted at but missed. Strike one. So no outs here. If you were Loretta, this is. Well, the main thing you want to do is try to get these moved around. You've got yeah. Jericho Ray at nine hole, and then you're back up top. That's going to be bunted foul. 
So a quickly up 0-2. So, you know, if you're them, you want to try to get back to that leadoff and then definitely to uh, Riley Dover. It's two-hole spot if you can. Um, but two bunt attempts have been a successful right here. So Breeley is down, down in a no ball, two-strike hole. Does she show bunt right here on 0-2? I wouldn't think so. Here's the pitch. Swing back to Lindsay. She's going to go to third, one out. And go to first. That'll be late, but a nice job blocking that up. So Summertown does get the lead, lead runner. runner, which is big, and yeah, that will bring Jerrica Ray to the plate. Jerrica Ray. Jerrica, I've been watching a lot of uh, Loretta's games. You know, she's a good player. She's also got some speed too, and is very capable of putting a bunt down and beating it. So don't think that a bunt is necessarily out of the question right here, in this situation. Pitch. That's going to be hit. That's going to be down the line. Fair ball. Well, they're going to hold up, and all the runners advance. One base, though. Nice job getting it back in. But. This is top of your lineup. Number one, yep. Aubrey. Yvette. That will bring the top lineup. Loretta with bases loaded. Only one out here in the second. Lindsay's been in trouble both innings. So that will bring Ezel to the plate. Infield for Summertown is in. So they're going to look to try to cut the run down here on something on the ground. Pitch. That's going to be hit to right field. Short. Caught. And they're not going to be able to tag. That's just not deep enough. That's awesome. That's a great job. Yep. That's a good decision by, by Car. I think is that, Car is that Carly on third? Yes. That, that's a good decision by her. Yeah, that's just not deep enough. Uh, you can't risk that. So, But Loretta's got what they need, though. They've got Briley Dover coming to the plate. Um, with bases loaded and two outs. This could be a big point in this game, Cody, over the long yeah, haul. For either uh, team right here. Yes. Depending on what happens. So right let's here. see what is going to happen here. Here's a pitch from Lindsey. That's going to be hit deep, and that's out of here. Gone. That's a grand slam. Lindsey grooves one to Dover, waist high, first pitch. And she smokes it. Good job. And that's going to put Loretta up five to nothing. That is essentially a worst case scenario for Summertown. Right well, there. Lindsay threw her most perfect, beautiful waist high fastball to the best hitter in the ballpark on the first pitch with bases loaded. Uh, that's uh, that's tens of what happens when you do that. So, mm, that's yeah. tough. And we will be having a pitching change here in the bottom of the second inning. Olivia Woods coming in, and we'll take a break here while Olivia warms up. We'll be back here in just a moment. All right, back here in the bottom of the second, Cody. Uh, on a good note, the, the, but there's nobody. Loretta doesn't have your Summertown. There's no Loretta runners on base. Right now. Yeah, the uh, the ponds are cleared. Yeah, new pitcher Olivia Woods. That's gonna be all warmed up. up. And she'll get strike one right off the bat with a foul ball. Yep. Just a. Uh, it just seemed like a uh, accumulation of of bad plays for Summertown. Uh, Some well, good I mean, hitting it is for what it is. Loretta. And Lindsay didn't have any zip on the ball, hardly any today. She leaves the fact that balls were up constantly in the zone. That's going to be hit to left. That should be an easy play, and it is. And that will get Summertown out of it, but not before Briley Dover drops a bomb 
grand slam over center field fence and Loretta is taking a 5-0 lead here on Summertown and jumped out. So Summertown going to see if they can try to get back in this thing here in a minute. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta softball on the Exports Network. Great food is just a short drive to Heine's Barbecue in Lawrenceburg. Mouth-watering is just one way to describe the amazing flavors of the best piece of Heine in town. When you dig into a plate of pulled pork, hand-chopped brisket, chicken, wood-fire oven pizzas, and the menu goes on. Wash it all down with a swig of Heine Shine Lemonade and then make your way over to the gift shop full of Heine sauces, snacks, and more. Heine's Barbecue, Highway 43 North in Lawrenceburg. All right, Adam Lindsay and Cody Harrington back here in Summertown, Tennessee. Summertown trailing 5-0 uh, early to Loretta after a big grand slam by Briley Dover to straightaway center. Anna Burleson's on the plate, and she just crushes one, too. And that, Burner. that's going to be off the center field fence. Well hit ball. And that will – and the crazy thing is, Cody, uh, she almost made a play on that yeah. uh, as deep as Loretta's playing. Uh, with that wind blowing out, she actually had a somewhat of a chance to maybe get to it. But that will be a leadoff double. So, Summertown, good start if you're them. That will bring Jones to the plate, Hannah Jones. Burleson on second after the double off the center field fence. Hey, and that's, what, <clears throat> that's what we need to do to start off a, a rough inning for us. Uh, so stand up double is a nice way to start it. Let's, we've seen this before. When the bats get started hot, uh, it seems like everybody wants to jump on the train. So yeah. that's going to be hit. That's down. That's going to get into go, the go, right go. field gap. That's going to be one run. Should score easily, but Jones will have to hold up at second base. Excuse me, at first. Hi, Santa. So Summertown with two batters here in the bottom of the second, and they've got a run on the board here after two straight hits, Cody. Yeah. That ball just kept carrying too, man. It, it looked, you know, like it would be fairly deep, but it almost got to the fence uh, by the time it landed. That'll bring Reagan Burleson to the plate for Summertown. That's going to be in the dirt. Change up. A little low. Pitch to Burleson. That'll be up high. Away. Ball two. Leave that up there, Rick. You can see that <laughs> sun's already beating down on the defensive eyes. Wonder how that's going to come into uh, to play. We're going to get a pinch runner on our flex right here. Be a Brianna Davis. It's a little switcheroo. Nice job there by Jones with an RBI single to deep right. As Cody mentioned, Abriana Davis now the runner on first. <coughs> Burleson's at the plate. She's got a 2-0 count. Two balls, no strikes. Gillum on deck for Summertown. Still no outs here in the bottom of the second. Pitch to Reagan. That's going to be right back to Carly, and they're going to get a double play. Not sure what the runner on first is doing. Oh, I think that may have been a hit and run situation, the way she took off. Uh, maybe, but I, I doubt it. Number three, Caitlin 
So now two outs and the bases are now cleared with Gillum up. So that'll be, that, things like that tends to uh, take care of a big inning. Derail, derail a train for yep. sure. It works every time. Well, the thing about it is if the ball gets through, you're going to be out at second anyway. Yeah. I mean, so there's no reason to try to move to second. Dover's going to be there to make that play. It wasn't, wasn't hit very hard. Uh, tough luck. Pitch to Gillum. That's going to be fouled off the end of the bat. Strike two. We got a lot of softball to play. Yeah. Nobody needs to panic just yet. Pitch to Gillum. That's going to be up high. Ball one. <laughs> Grounded. That should be an easy play for Dover. And it is. So, Summertown gets a run and gets some runners on, but the Soft liner back to first base. The pitcher turned turn for the double play takes care of that. So after the end of two, Loretta leading five to one. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the X Sports Network. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one on one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. All right, we're back. So Loretta leading five to one here in the top of the third. Emily Cozart up for Loretta. Good pitch. First pitch strike inside corner. So for Summertown, how do you uh, obviously you score some more runs? But how do you dig yourself? How do you mentally dig yourself out of this hole? Well, you've got plenty of time. Next pitch strike, beautiful pitch. Oh well, the next thing is that one run is not going to get you back in. You're only down four. But you can have the base running miscues you just had. When you've got runners on, you know, you've got to be able to, to you know, be smart on the bases and make good decisions. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a rise ball, pitch. strike three. Nice pitch there by O. And, you know, but you've got to relax and just do what you do. It's only a four-run yeah, game, but you can't have those mental mistakes of running the bases and, Everything else, because those things kill you. Yeah. Uh, if you're up nine to nothing, and it's it's not something that's looked at. But when you're down five to one, everything is under the microscope. So, you know. All right, that will bring Addison Booty uh, to the plate. Be ball off the plate. Ball one. Next one, that's going to be a rise ball. Strike one. That's the second batter that had been able to lay off that pitch. No. It looked really good coming out of her hand. Yep. Pitch. That'll be popped up off the hands and dropped. Oh, brother. And that's the ball your second baseman, I think, has to. It's over the pitcher's head. Just call her off, let it bounce, and get that out. But they're just, well, I didn't hear, I didn't hear anybody. I didn't hear anybody, anybody, didn't hear anybody even it. say a word, yay or nay. So not to lay the blame on any one person. I, don't, I didn't hear anybody talking. So Woods does a great job and gets a strikeout and then gets a pop-up, but will not. But it will result in a, fir a runner on first for Loretta. Brilly Winters to the plate, eight-hole hitter. Now to 
here's the pitch. Inside and high ball one. Up and away, ball two. So Woods down behind in the count, two balls, no strikes. That will be Cambria Hansen, excuse me, at the plate. That's going to be a shot. Hit foul. I just love, love Coach uh, Burleson's reaction. Everybody in that dugout was done for their life, and that man didn't even blink. I think the way this game started, he could probably <laughs> bite through that chain link fence right now. I don't know if I would blame it off the plate. Got her. And oh, the ball will dropped. be dropped on the tag. Oh, it was there, too. Yep, it was there. So, a stolen base. <clears throat> and that. Brings it to a three ball, one strike count here. To Hanson, Carly Urban on deck. Three one from Woods, that's gonna be hit foul. Check swing. That was probably ball four, probably. Looked pretty high up in the zone, but that will square it up, full count. Our service today has been terrible. Yeah. So it's it's going to be super laggy. So we'll uh, have a recording of this. Full count pitch from Woods. That's going to be a swing and a miss. It's going to be a foul Fouled ball. It. it was fouled, tipped. You'd like to try to hold that if you can, but that was a tip. So just a loud foul ball. Still a full count on Hanson. Runner on second, one out. The pitch, that's going to be popped up foul behind on plate. You would really like to get this girl at the plate right here. That or have her hit from the uh, runner. Yep. Full count pitch. It's going to be hit chopped over the first baseman, over the third baseman's head. That ball is going to be bobbled by the outfielder. I mean, that ball, Lindsay jumps up as high as she can. I've never seen a chopper like that. That was 10 feet. Yeah. She jumps up, try to that ground. Evidently must be hard as concrete. Ball has been hopping. You know, one got up on Abbott, you know, in the first inning. That was yeah. usually a routine ball, and he gets up and – so that will bring Urban to the plate. I'll be honest, we are super fortunate that did not score one. Yeah, it should have. If uh, It bounced off Hannah's glove and then it <coughs> bounced off AB's glove. And yep. Pitch to Urban. That'll be on the inside corner, strike one. No balls, one strike. I'm curious. if I want, I'm wondering, you've got good speed on third base. If maybe you don't see a bunt here, it's not a bad spot for one. I know Carly, she does a good job at getting them down too. So – Wonder if you see a square here. The pitch. That's going to be a swing and a miss. Strike two. Freely Winters, the eight hole hitter on deck for Loretta. Second and third. One out. 0 2 count on Urban. Pitch from Woods. Off the play. Ball one. It's a good spot. Yeah, for not bad count. at all. Two pitch. That'll be a rise ball. Strike three. So nice pitch there by Woods. That will get the strikeout. That will bring winners to the plate. A base hit here could score you two. Summertown outfielders are having to play fairly deep with this wind blowing out. Let's see what happens here. The pitch. Up and away, ball one. 
Cody, how's the uh, middle? How's the uh, Dixie U season going? You got some games this week. Unfortunately, we play Thursday, so Giles County will, game. Huh? Yeah, you will not have me Thursday night. You'll have uh, Adam and Clint. That'll be down and in ball two. And I tried everything I could to get free that night, but <coughs> it is what it is. Yeah. That's a uh, 5 o'clock game at Giles County Thursday night. Two balls, no strike. Up and away, 3-0. So Woods falls behind 3-0 here to the 8-hole hitter winners. Had a girl. Be a strike outside corner. Good pitch there. So 3-1. As a hitter right here, you know where this pitch is coming. Pitch. Strike two. Yeah, yeah. It was borderline pitch, but yeah. it was a good one, though, right on the right at the waist. So that will even it back up. The runners will be moving on the pitch, he says. That'll be a nice pitch Had there down in the way. Ground ball. Right at and on first. So Summertown gets out of it with no runs. Loretta still holding on to this 5-1 lead. Summertown going to try to get back in this thing here in a moment. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the Exports Network. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Your catcher, number 15, Greenlee Taylor. All right, Cody, we are back here. Loretta leading 5-1, to one, bottom of the third. Taylor leading off here for Summertown. We have we got to get something going. Got to get some energy back in us. Yeah. We're looking really flat. That'll be a little high, ball one. Well, the whole team's that way. You know, yeah, it's just I mean, like it's there's not, not a lot of energy yeah, on the Summertown side. It's not just one person. It's, you know, Loretta, it's everybody. Loretta's come out with a lot of energy today. Uh, hitting the ball well this you know early in the game being aggressive i mean that's what you got to do to win softball games that's gonna be a base hit. hit and that will be cut off by the right fielder and thrown in but not before greenlee leads off with a single start off the inning we will have a runner for the catcher that will be atkinson coming in to run now to that your pitcher number 13 so this is Rose. Olivia Woods. Let me change this on the roster here. So Woods to the plate. Your leadoff batter on deck, Abbott. Uh, one hole on deck. Runner on first, no out. Pitch to Woods. That's going to be hit foul. Hit pretty hard down the right field line. Balls one strike here to Olivia. Axon on first has really good speed here. Let's see what happens. Pitch. Strike two. Nice pitch by Carly there on the inside corner. So Woods is. Carly has been looking down. really well. Yeah, Carly does today. a good job, man. She moves the ball around. She changes speeds well. You know, she's good at keeping the ball down, letting her defense work. She, She's done this for a long time. She knows what she's doing. Pitch up and away. Ball one. You know, and, and Carly, you know, she's going to have the same trouble that Hannah will have, you know, like most pitchers will have when 
you get the ball up too much, you know, at times you can get hurt. But she does a great job. She's uh, I've been doing this for a while. So one ball, two strikes. That'll be in the dirt. Ball two. So two, two. Your outfielder's really deep here. Uh, one thing that helps on, though, is singles. You keep the ball in front, but pitch. That's going to be hit. That's, That's going to get down. That's going to get in the right field gap. That'll be – Axon should move to third easy, and she does. Get Woods there, should Woods. move up, and she Not does. So, Summertown here with back-to-back -back hits has second and third, no outs, and you've got one, two, three coming up. Yeah. Hey, let's do a job here, E. Come on. Down to back. Your shortstop, number 23, Erica. Let's see if that'll light a fire under our rear ends right here. Well, I think anything could should at this point, Cody, as low, you know, it's kind of we've been. but We've just been a little slow out of the gate. They have, but they're showing a little bit of life here now. Pitch to Abbott. Down and away, ball one. And uh, for all of our Loretta fans, watching i know our camera's not moving like they're used <laughs> yeah, to know. Uh, seeing down there with the pitch to abbott that's going to be hit oh, that's going down the left field line caught by the left fielder Good and play, runners though. cannot move so not what you want for sure but a nice play by the left fielder there that will be ezel who made a great catch in foul territory so runnels to the plate or summertown Second and third, st still one out. First pitch strike outside corner. Nice pitch there by Carl. If you're Summertown, you need to at least get one, two minimum if you can here. A base hit should score two. Get you back two runs closer, up and away for a ball. You know, and I can tell you right now, Cody, the way this wind's blowing and everything, and there's going to be plenty more runs probably scored in this game, probably on both sides. Yeah. Uh, pitch to Runnels. That's going to be fouled away. So, two strikes on Runnels now. We, uh, I don't know why I was about to say. Just slipped my mind like the wind. <laughs> I think uh, what our problem with the service today is I've gotten us a little further behind the concession stand. This yeah. big block wall is blocking our signal, so I've moved yeah, the, you may be right. the hot spot over. Here's the pitch. It's going to be down and away. Uh, Ball two. We need Runnels to keep on the tear that she's been on yep. with the stick. Pitch. That's going to hit foul over the Summertown dugout. And it ricochets off and hits into the street. You know, if this ball dog. Wait, where's the ball dog at today? You seen him? I haven't seen him at all, and I've been here Maybe since. Maybe that's why we're off to a good bad start. It's bad luck. Right you know? uh, I've been here. I subbed today, so I came out yeah. fifth block and put everything up so I could go watch tennis. Pitch to That's going to be fouled off again. That was the pitch we wanted right there. So Reynolds staying alive here. Yep. A ton of room in the left field gap. Left fielder's all the way close to the line. Straight away in center. A lot of real estate. Ball three. Uh, pitch took a lot of discipline to lay off there. I think 2-2 two -two for me is about the hardest pitch as a batter. Oh, yeah. Because you're no doubt. super tense, but at the same time, you're you're knowing this could be off the plate, get, trying to get you a chase. Yeah. Here's the pitch. That's going to be hit foul. Get out. Will it get out of play? Yeah, it will. It, it will. will. It will go on top, top of the batting cages. <sighs> and, and that wind is kind of heading across the field yeah. now. Out, Still out, Cody, but moving across. So everything's getting thrown against the left field line. Yep. Um, so we'll, here's the payoff pitch from Carl. Full count. Hit, base hit. Oh, that's that's base gonna go hit. into center. It will get down. 
Had a kid. And that will score another run. That will push it to five to two. First and third now with Lindsey coming to the plate. You've got three, four, five. What a heck of a at bat. That was a great at bat. Uh, so the tying run is your senior handle Lindsey at the plate. Curious to see what happens here on a – will they take a pitch or square to bunt, see if Runnels will move to second or not. Let's see. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a strike. It's going to get away Good. from JB just a little bit, enough to give Runnels an opportunity to get to second. So, Lindsey does take the first pitch strike, but it does move your runner. So, second and third here with one out. Hey, I was out here while they were taking BP, and I know it's it's just BP. It's a little different. That'll be a ball up and away. But Hannah hit four or five of them over off just underhand BP. So the kid can hit it where she wants to hit it and as far as she wants to hit. She's just got to get there and relax. She's been off to a slow start this season. Pitch. That's going to be grounded. That's going to that's gonna get through. That will score two. And that's going to get Summertown yes, back to a run. Had a kid, Lindsay. As we mentioned. You're gonna to have to score today because with this wind and these two, two teams, these two teams the way they're hitting, uh, there's gonna be runs scored. Had a girl for sure. G. So Summertown has got this thing back to now one run first here, first and one, you've got Burleson coming up, who her first at bat hit one off the center field fence. Yeah, hit a rocket. The hit thing it. about it is, though, your entire outfield right now could about turn around and touch the fence. I think. Here's the pitch. That's going to be hit. That's, That's down. That's Ooh. down. That's and Lindsey moves up. So now first and second and Jones up. And that was a tough ball to read for anybody. Oh, sure. I mean, it. if you're – you just got to get off the bag. And, you know, and the second baseman did a good job. It just kind of got over a floated. little bit. It floated. Yeah. And, you know, that wind's pushing everything away from her into the outfield too. So tough play there either way you look at it. But first and second here for Summertown. Still one out and Jones up. Hannah hit a single right where. That will be a first pitch change at low, but a beautiful location. Just right where Hannah Lindsay just hit it. Uh, yep. Jones last at bat just squeaked by the second baseman. So yep. he, if she hits that again, I, Hannah's going home. Yeah, well, yeah, the thing about it is as deep as your outfield is, a single will score a run yeah. with Lindsay speed. There's no doubt. That's the issue that you're going to have with playing as deep as you have. You can get to a lot of balls over your head, but a single is just about guaranteed two runners for about any any every base. Yeah, yeah. And that's the issue you'll run into. Uh, you know, there was instances in Loretta, you know, I remember where balls hit right over the infield for routine singles were turned into doubles. Just you're playing that deep. It just takes a while to get to the ball. Pitch, change up, Ooh. ball low. That's a beautiful pitch. And a beautiful hold off by Jones. Yeah, yeah Carly's changeup is uh, the real deal. It always has been. Beautiful pitch. Uh, great job by Jones laying off of it. And you're looking for a ground ball possible way to turn this right here if you're Loretta. Pitch. Grounded. That's deep. Burner. 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 Off the fence. Oh, yes. One run. We'll score. That'll be Lindsay. The other one's moving to third, and we got a tie ball game. Had a kid. Way to hit the ball, Jones. That was about eight inches from getting over. Well, not far. It hit well. It hit above the the signs, so in between the signs and the top of the fence. So, whatever that measurement is, it was a it was a well struck ball. So and we'll have time right here by Loretta. Coach is going to call a timeout and come talk to Miss Carly. We'll take a short break for y'all and be back here in a minute. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the X Sports Network. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work.
All right, Cody, we're back. Summertown has come back from a 5-0 deficit to tie this thing at five. Um, we, we got something cooking, Adam. They got something cooking. Summertown does. It uh, may be the burgers in the back. We do have a pitching change. Um, Carly Urban replaced by Emily Cozart. Carly moves to third base, and Emily in on the mound now. Basically, they just switch out. So uh, Reagan squares for a bunt, pulls it back for ball one. So first and third to recap where you're at right now. If you're, for first and third, one out. Reagan Burleson up. Tie ball game, 5-5. Five, five. Here's the pitch. It'll be squared to bun and popped up. Two outs. Jeez, Hannah. Hannah took a tumble over there on first. Mm. That was not what we wanted. Well, a rise ball up and away is never a ball to bunt. Yep. And that's not just for Ray. That's for anybody. I mean, that's what she threw the first pitch, and you pull off of it. Now you try to put it into the dirt. It's, it's just tough to get it into the air. That'll be a first pitch changeup. Looks good. And yeah. yeah, okay. Just a little delayed <laughs> on his call, he man. He didn't say anything. No, he just stood there. He kind of freaked me out. I was like, that has to be a strike. I think he thought it was so good that nobody needed him to say anything. <laughs> so, first and third still. Gillum up. Pitch. Inside That's strike two. Real good pitch. So, Cozart now quickly ahead. 0-2. It's funny how just – a little event like a pop-up. Yeah, I mean that, it, it, it'll it'll change the whole dynamics. I mean, and you know, it's the little things that'll win you games in general. And that's you know, that'll be in the dirt away ball one. Yeah, the little things like that, Cody. It can you know. Because I mean, we were we were on a on a tear right there with one out, runners yep. on first and third, and and then all of a sudden it's we're down one two with two outs and. One ball, two strike pitch. That's going to be a rise ball. Strike three, and that will be the inning. So, Loretta Cozart does a great job getting out of that mess for Loretta, but uh, Summertown left some runs there even on the board uh, with a pop-up bunt and a strikeout. But they do come back and tie this thing, and so Loretta and Summertown tied at five, headed into the top of the fourth inning. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the Exports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. All right, Jerrica Ray leading off here for Loretta, uh, the nine hole hitter, and then we'll be back to the top with Aubrey Ezel and Dover. On a good note, Lindsay probably happy. Uh, well, I don't say she's happy. That'll be ball one in the dirt. But she is now off the hook for the loss, at least since the, this thing was tied back up. So that will be ball one in the dirt to Jerrica. Next pitch by Olivia. That'll be a strike. Beautiful pitch there. Olivia's done a really good job kind of coming in and kind of calling things too, Cody. Oh, for sure. She's yeah. settled in, especially for she has. underclassmen here. Yep. So, 1-1 one, one count. The pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike two. So, one ball, two strikes to Jerrica Ray. Rise ball gets a little too high up. It'll be two balls, two strikes now to the nine hole here. Ooh. That'll be down. Good spot. Ball three. Good idea. So that will draw it to a full count. Not a lady you <coughs> want to put on with one, two, three coming to the plate. I call. mean, you, you know, that's part of the issue that caused Summertown's big inning, you know, Loretta's big inning earlier. It's not something you want to duplicate right here. Yep. So. 
Here's the pitch. Good Ground pitch. ball. That's going to be a slow roller. Lindsey's got it. And Had there's the out. Nice. So nice job there by Woods coming back, getting the out, getting the ground ball. That will bring Ezel to the plate. Leadoff batter one, with Dover, Dover on deck. Ezel getting quite a bit of work out there in the left field earlier. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, like we were saying, Cody, everything's blowing well, that well, way. I mean, I look mean, at the flag right oh, now. Oh, yeah. It I is. mean, it's sending everything down, that, down toward left. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Pitch right there. Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't really feel all that big of a breeze right here, but no. you look up there at the tops of the trees and, yeah. and the flag, I mean, it's gusting pretty good. For sure. Up and away, ball one. from Woods. Inside, that is a beautiful spot. Strike two. Mr. Ump likes that spot too. Yeah, it's a prototype, so. man. If you can hit it there, it's a beautiful pitch. Not many people utilize that inside, but that's, you can keep it there, put it there. Pitch from Woods, the rise ball, that strike again. three. So Woods has come in using that rise and it's it's highly effective. Yep. Now to back. So right away, one, two, Dover. sits down. Yep. That will bring Dover to the plate. Dover with a big grand salami, as they like to say, her last at bat. And it was a no doubter. Yeah, it was It was definitely in the gas station. Yeah. But we put that behind us, moved on to brighter days. That's another one that's probably out that's of here as well. past the gas station. Yes. Well, Briley, Briley, seeing the ball well. First of all, Briley's an amazing player, an amazing hitter. She always has been. But when she gets home tonight, sometime tomorrow, she needs to send Summertown a thank you card <laughs> for giving her two Broadway pitches. Cause she's heck, she's good enough. You don't have to give her one. But man, yeah. we have served her up two balls waist high, and she has smoked them. She's not gonna miss them. She's way too good of a player. So, Loretta's going to take a 6-5 lead on that bomb. Here's the pitch. Relying shot right at Abbott, and that gets you out of the inning, but not before Briley Dover does her thing again. And that will give Loretta a 6-5 lead. We'll be heading here in the bottom of the fourth inning. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the Exports Network. All right. Loretta leading 6-5 to five here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Greenlee Taylor leading Summertown off here. First pitch up and inside, ball one. Up at her face. I think that's about as close as you want it to come to that mask. Yeah. pitch off the plate ball two if you're 
if you're Cozart here, you've got to throw strikes. I know the wind's blowing out. I know Summertown can, you know, they can hit the softball, but, you know, she got into some trouble at Loretta walking batters. It's not something you want to do to a leadoff. That's going to be hit foul, especially when you're getting toward the back of your lineup here and you're going to be back around to the top here before you know it. Yeah. So you got to, you know, don't give Summertown anything here as far as that goes. Make them earn what they get, but you got a defense behind you that can make plays. Two balls, one strike here to Taylor. That'll be off, 3-1. Yeah, I would, if I was Greenlee right here, I'm making <coughs> I'm making Cozart pitch to me. Yeah, you have to. I mean, this has to be a strike. So, yeah. Greenlee with a big green light right here. Pitch. That's going to be a swing and a miss. So, that's going to bring it full. Greenlee running late on that one. That ball was almost in the mid. Uh, just going to get those hands out a little bit quicker. That'll bring it to a full count here. Pitch to Taylor. Hit. That's a Fly, shot. Baby. Fly, baby. Right oh, to the right, right, right to the center fielder. Nine, nine on a normal day, that's a double. Today, uh, when your three outfielders are basically at the fence, that's routine. So, that tough luck that. there. Your pitcher, number 13, Olivia Woods. That will bring Woods to the plate. Yeah, that was a well-hit ball. Just, yeah. I mean, when they're playing that deep, if it's not in the gap. Yeah. Which it looks like to me, where is the left fielder? That left center gap is huge. Nice to pitch on the inside corner, strike one. Yeah, that was an inside spot we were talking about earlier. Yep. He's giving it both ways. Ball up and away, 1-1. One, one. Inside that time, two balls, one strike. Further inside. Yeah. Up, 3 1. <coughs> so Emily's fell behind both of the batters. Right. Yeah, both batters, she's had 3 1 count too. Yeah. First one worked out in her favor. Pitch. Be hit foul. That is the same pitch that Greenlee chased. Yep. To give her a 3 2 count. Yep. Both, I think, would have been called balls. They were Probably right. They were a little high. Yep. Anchor pitch to you. Inside. That'll be ball four. Way too far inside that time. It was close, but. Down in the wet, down in the end. Ball four. So we're going to get a runner. That will bring Abbott to the plate. Abbott 0 for 2 on the day with two pop outs. A line out to short and a fly out to left. We do have a runner on first. That's uh, LaRue. Yes, yep. and LaRue. LaRue comes in to run. Pitch to Abbott up and away. Ball one. So, first three batters here, Cozart has missed high yep. on the majority of the pitches. So, if you're Erica, you've got to wait for a pitch down in the zone. There it was. Strike. One ball, one strike. <coughs> Runnels on deck for Summertown. One out here. Bottom of the fourth. That's going to be hit foul. Nice job there by Abbott on the changeup, just fighting it off. Trying to sit back on it. Yep. That will be two strikes, though, so one ball, two strikes. If you're Erica here, you got to look for balls up in the zone. The yep. last ball here is a, it's a great time to use it. you got to keep those hands high and stay on top of it. Don't chase anything up and away. Pitch. That's going to be hit off That's the That's fair first ball. That's slug. a fair ball. And that will be called She was in ball. fair territory. Oh, that's not good. That will that be is not good. a foul ball. 
right down the left field line. So tough luck there. Ooh. But that will square it. One ball, two strikes still on Abbott. Tough break. Here's the pitch. That'll be hit. That is. Get down, ball. Get down, ball. Caught by the wow. center fielder. Good play. For out number two. Real good play. Yeah, it was. So two outs here. LaRue still on first base. That was bad break for Erica. So let's see if Reynolds can keep it going hot. That's going to be popped yeah, up. Easy play for the shortstop. And the inning's over. So Loretta holds their 6-5 lead. Nice job there by Cozart getting out of it after the walk. And Loretta will be coming to the plate here in a moment, leading 6-5. to five. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the Exports Network. I'm Mike Keith. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Welcome back to sunny Summertown, Tennessee. Cozart, cleanup hitter for Loretta. Starting them off here in the top of the fifth. That's going to be hit deep, and that might be out of here as well. It is. And it is. That one was another one that was left up about letter high, and it was smoked. Well, one team is taking advantage of the win today, and that is not us. Now to bat, number 17, Addison so, Bowie. Shake it off right here, Bowie at the plate for Loretta. Loretta now leading 7-5 to five after that solo shot by Cozart. Pitch from Woods. That's another one right at Abbott. She's going to boot that one. And safe again. That will be another error on Summertown. <laughs> I don't know how many that's been this game. Um, I would guess three, but we might be safe and go with four. I know of at least three. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go to four. <laughs> I want to guess high. That will bring Hanson to the plate. Or Loretta. So we need the same result right here for Erica and Reagan to turn it. First pitch strike. Outside corner. Summertown here, if you can feel the ball clean, you might be able to turn something. Be rise ball high. 1-1. One, one. Come on, drive one right here. Let's go. Good pitch. Inside corner. Strike two. That's one ball, two strikes. That's the spot if you're going to jam her up. Ball two, down. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. 
That'll be a changeup off play to curveball, actually, I believe. Strike three. And Hanson will go down swinging. That will bring Carl Carl to the plate. Down to bat. Number 23, Carly Irvin. Runner still on first base, Bowie. After the air. That's one out, right? Yeah. First pitch. That could be a 6-4-3. That's going to oh be thrown away. Gosh. So error number five. Hmm. Girls. Lindsay caught it in double clutch going to second. There was nobody at back. That's why she double clutched it. Nobody was standing on the bag. Nobody was even close to the bag. So first and second, one out. That will bring Breeley Winters to the plate. After the fifth, I'm going to say five now. Since I just said four, we'll just say five errors. Here's a pitch to Breeley. Inside. Pitch. Strike. Good pitch. That's going to be popped up. Woods will have it. Nice play there. Off the hands. So that will bring Jericho Ray, nine-hole hit. Summertown now with two outs, first and second for Loretta. Loretta leading seven to five after the big bomb by Cozart. Definitely want to Number get 16, Jerica Ray. the out right here if we can. On deck is your leadoff for Loretta. Yep. Pitch to Ray. Inside corner, strike one. You know, Woods is doing a good job of working that inside corner. You know, yeah, she's she staying has. inside. You know, a lot no, of, but nobody's done anything with it. Well, a lot of stuff Lindsay, you know, Lindsay threw was middle out off. Pitch there. Uh, that was a nice pitch, as Cody mentioned. So that's going to send Jerry Ray down 0-2 here with two outs. Top of five. Down and away, uh, strike kid. three. And Summertown's going to get out of it after a couple errors. Wasn't pretty, but Loretta does not score. So we'll be back here in a moment for the bottom of the fifth. Loretta leading seven to five. You're listening to Loretta and Summertown Softball on the X Sports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. Here we are back. Adam? Number four, All right. Summertown trailing seven to five, bottom five. Lindsay's going to lead Summertown off, three-hole hitter. She had a two RBI single, I think, her last at bat. Yep. So she's going to try to get something going here for Summertown to try to get back in this thing. Yeah, it's just going to take a couple of swings right here. We Two runs is nothing for this group. When they get the bats going, we just got to stay positive, Ball stay one, upbeat. High. Quit trying to force stuff. I just feel like I feel like this is the first game that everybody's trying to force something. And you know as well as I do, that never produces good results. No. Here's the pitch. Ball too high. Down and away, ball three. Yeah. I 
I don't think they're going to want to give Lindsey much to hit here. Uh, so we'll see what happens here with 3-0. That'll be ball four. Four-pitch nice. walk. Not something you want to do after taking a 7-5 lead, but that will put Lindsey on. So you got good speed on first. You know, we've been talking, Cody, this young lady's really starting to swing the bat. You know, she's already had two what, two solid hits today, one off the right field fence, center field fence. So they're shading her that way, too, now. Center fielder's moving. So Lindsey on first base. That's going to be a changeup in the dirt, ball one. Burleson, that's away, but it will be on the outside corner. Strike one. You know, she's hit two hard balls in the right. You know, uh, you wonder if they're not, wouldn't try to work her away. Uh, pitch, that will be away. That's that will be a ball. I was about to say, that yeah. was way out there. Oh, goodness gracious. So a one. Two ball, one strike count to Anna Burleson. No outs here, bottom of the fifth. Lindsay on first base. Pitch. Strike two. That'll even hit it 2-2. Jones on deck for Summertown. Pitch. That's going to be popped up. That's, That's going to be a tough play. Foul, foul just out of the nice effort there by the second baseman. Just kind of a little bit too far foul. So we'll do it again. Two balls, two strikes on Burles. It's pitch. That's going to be hit to left. Fly, baby. That will be an easy play for the left fielder. Lindsey will have to retreat back to first base. So one away here in the bottom of the fifth. Down to bat. Number 30. All right, Joe, Anna let's keep the – keep your hot streak going right here. She's went two for two today. Two solid hits. Mr. Jones, swing and a miss, rise ball, strike one. No balls, one strike here to Hannah. Lindsay still on first. Just change up, good strike pitch. two. Real good pitch. Yep. Got to stay back. It's a tough one, but that was a beautiful pitch. All right, here comes Hannah. She's going to try to work back out of this 0-2 hole. Let's see what she can do. Pitch from Kozart. Way to lay off. Way to lay off. Ball one. Hit foul that will head over into the Summertown. Your sister in law stands. saved saved her two children. I can, yeah, she didn't catch it cleanly though. <laughs> she deflected it. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, she could play for us defense today. <laughs> right the way we've been fielding it, uh, she could probably go out there and at least give us a run for our money. Pitch another one fouled off way ahead. Yep. You know, I'm curious if uh, you know, that first changeup kind of gave Hannah some trouble. I'm wondering if you're not fixing to see another one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a beautiful pitch. Yeah. Wondering if this may be the situation coming up where you use it again. and We'll see. There it is. There it is. And you there's got her. a strikeout. Right, 
So that'll be two down. Your second baseman, number six, right here at the bottom of the fifth. Oh, After Lindsay with a laid off <laughs> walk, and she has yet to be able to move. To move. In the dirt. Ball one. Good block up there by Loretta's catcher. Pitch to Burleson. That's going to be popped up. Should be an easy play, and it is. Right to the catcher. So that will end it for Summertown. Lindsay will lead off walk, but she is going to be stranded on the back. And we'll be back here in a moment for the top of the six. Loretta coming to the plate. You're listening to Loretta and Summertown Softball on the Exports Network. Here we're back. Top of six. Loretta leading seven to five. Ezel, the leadoff batter up. If we are to have one clean inning. That one's well, going to get away just a little high. Yeah, and it's going to foul our camera up. So I will see about fixing that in just a second. Apologize for that. We took a direct hit. <laughs> Pitch from Woods. Ball two. If we were to have a clean, what I'm saying is we're, if we're going to have a clean inning in this game, it's got to be right here. We cannot allow a bigger hole. Ball three. 3-0. Three -oh. Two leadoff batter, Ezell. Ball four. Four pitch, first batter walk in the bottom of the six, and that will bring Miss Dover to the plate. Dover, who's had a great day, three for three, two homers, five RBIs, and a grand slam. Uh, she's pretty much uh, – she's more than done her job today for sure. Um, so that will be a runner on first here, no outs, with Briley up. That's going to be hit down the left field line and caught. So the runner will have to retreat is Ezel, and that will bring up Clifton, three-hole hitter. So that's the first time today Summertown's been able to get Dover out, Cody. What did you say? I was just saying that's the first time today Summertown's managed to get Briley out. So yeah. It's to Clifton. That's going to be grounded. Lindsay's got it. She'll get there out at first. They're going to round, and oh, you've got to be careful second. if you're that runner rounding like that. And then she gets up off the bag. So that will be two outs, but the runner does move to second. Now to bat, number 20, Emily Cozart. That will bring Cozart. Cozart hit a bomb in the left center field her last at bat. Here's the pitch. Inside, strike spot. one. Nice spot. That's that a, a kid. Curveball off the plate, swinging a miss. That was dirty. Yep. I had a lot of movement. Sure did. That's going to put Emily in a 0-2 hole here. Runner on second base, two outs. That'll be 
way high for ball one. Good job to Greenlee on that one, snagging that one, keeping the runner from moving up. I dodged that one. <laughs> I just happened to look up about the time the ball was coming. We are having all sorts of camera issues now. That's the only thing I don't like about this drive. Did you think that it was going to come through the net? I well, know. I did see one go through the net last week. So yeah, but that would never happen again. Yeah, probably not. But <laughs> our camera is all messed up. I'm going to have to. Pitch from Woods. That's going to be down. Nice job of Cozart holding off that one. So that will get it back to 2-2. Two -two. Runner on second base. You've got good speed on second. A ground ball through here. Could score a run if you could get something going. That's going to be popped up foul. So Emily up there fighting with Olivia. getting the sign here. 2-2 two -two count, two outs. Pitch to Cozart. It's going to be – Good pitch. Woof. Where is that at? It will be ruled a ball. Oh, my But that goodness. will square it up at full. It's a borderline pitch. It's a tough one to take with two strikes. But it, will, mean, it is a ball. So Full count here. Pitch from Woods. Payoff pitch. Two outs. Runner on second. Swing and a miss, a strike three. And Summertown gets out of it. So we'll be headed to the bottom of the six. Summertown trailing seven to five. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta Softball on the Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Cody, back here, bottom of the six. Caitlin Gillum at the plate. Cozart on the mound. Loretta leading seven to five. This is a big inning here for some. Down and in, ball one. You're at the bottom half of the lineup. Yeah. Got to have them step up, get some hit start here in the bottom of the six. We ain't got much time to. The wind has actually calmed a little yeah. bit, Cody. It's going to be popped up Jammed and should up. be an easy play for third, and it is. Two pitches, one out. Pop up to third. Nice play by Carl on third base over there. So I'll bring Greenley Taylor to the plate. Down to back. Your catcher, number 15, Greenley Taylor. Who, if I remember correctly, got all of the madness started in the fourth inning, third yeah. inning, whatever it was. Yeah. First pitch strike. Beautiful pitch. It's going to be popped up foul. So no balls, two strikes. Two Taylor. Woods on deck for Summertown, the pitcher. Yeah. 
Ball one, a pie. Just what you figure O2 pitch will be. Yep. Something way off the plate. It's going to be popped up out of play. That's up and over the road. That will go out into the road. So Greenley here trying to fight here. One ball, two strike count, one out. Here in the bottom of the sixth. A little high and inside. Borderline but pitch, it was, though, awfully again, close. It was closer than I would have liked. Very close. That's the same pitch he threw to uh, uh batter before. I yep. jammed her up on the inside. 2-2 two, two pitch. Change up. Strike three. Well. Beautiful pitch by yep. Kozar. So, two down here. That will bring Woods up. Number 13, Olivia Wood. I'd like to see a score one or two right here, but. Well, the way it's looking with two got, outs we, here. We got to let O start us off right here. Yeah. Mr. Woods up and in, ball one. Ball two up high. It's going to be popped up. That will hit the oh. net. That will be foul. <clears throat> And just enough to not get back here to us. Another one fouled off. Then I'll square it back up 2-2. Two, two. Another one. Olivia up there fighting right now. That hit our camera and our table. <laughs> you know, it's not a bad thing, and I don't. I definitely don't want Olivia to get out at all. But you wonder, you're going to have lead off, leading off the seventh here. Yeah. Worst case, even if Olivia does get out. So. Yeah, but um, Olivia gets on, gives Erica a chance to tie it up. That is way closer than. Yeah. It's a beautiful location, but it's just not getting the call right now. That's going to send it to a full count. Three balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Woods at the plate. That will be way inside, ball four. That that previous one was definitely questionable, Cody. That one was way too far in. Yeah, but, uh, yeah two really close pitches uh, that were not called. Now to bat, your shortstop. Number 23, so Erica we need some uh, senior leadership right here. Yep. Erica to do do what she does best, hit the ball hard. Seven to five game here, runner on first, two outs. Hit it somewhere hard. Bottom of the sixth, Ab it up. Here's the pitch, ball one high. Ball. Well, that was a called strike. There's been a few questionable ones. I thought Cozart kind of got hosed on a few, and I don't know about that one either, Cody. 
Yeah, it's it's gotten a little more inconsistent as we went. But Larue to run on first base. You've got good speed. Here's the pitch. That'll be up and in. Ball two. So two balls, one strike. If you're Cozart, I mean, I know you don't want to. You want to try to get this out here, but you really got to be careful. You don't want to put Erica on. You're going to be taking, bringing the go-ahead run to the plate in Runnels, who's well capable. That's going to be a shot that was foul. A rocket. That was a rope, and I don't know. They're going down there to check on someone. Someone may have got hit with that ball. I hope not, because I don't know how quickly it was moving, but it was moving. Quickly. Looks, looks like everybody's okay. It was moving quickly. So we've got a, should be a 2-2 two -two count. Yep, 2-2 two -two here on Eric. Runnels on deck. Two outs, runner on first, bottom of the sixth. Pitch to Abbott. That's going to hit her. That's going to crack her uh Elbow guard. Elbow guard, luckily. That's one reason you wear those things. Turn down. So that is going to put two on with Ronalds coming up. Your center fielder. Took that like a two, champ. Mackenzie Ronald. It Lindsay on deck. They are walking somebody off over yeah, there. Yeah, I, I, they acted like somebody may have been hurt down there. I'm not sure. Looks like an older uh, gentleman. Yeah. Probably there, okay. Beautiful first pitch change up on the inside there too by Kozark. Yeah, that was a gutsy spot to go after you Very just gutsy. after you just hit somebody Very on the inside. Very gutsy. Not a bad pitch at all. Beautiful. First and second. Two outs. Runnels up. Summertown trailing seven to five. That's gonna oh. be a rise ball swinging a miss. Woo. That was up around her eyeballs. She couldn't lay off on that one. So Runnels down in a hole here, 0-2. Oh, Big spot for a hit right here. Yep. Pitch off the plate. Ball one. You're wondering if you're not going to see possibly that change up again or maybe she go back up with a rise and see if she get McKenzie to chase right here, Cody. Yeah. I think I would probably lean toward that rise, but we'll see. Pitch off the plate. But it's going to be ruled strike three on the outside corner. Wow. And that will send Runnels down. And that ends the threat. So Loretta holding this 7-5 to five lead here, headed into the top of the seventh. They're going to try to get some more and get some insurance. We'll be back here in a moment. You're listening to Loretto and Summertown Softball on the Exports Network. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs to recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great, they're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. Down to back, number 17, Addison Bowie. All right, Addison Bowie, five-hole hitter up to the plate here. Loretta leading seven to five. Top seven. They're going to try to get some insurance here and try to get a little bit more separation. That's going to be grounded. Foul. Be off the plate. Good pitch. Ball one. I think the girls know what situation they're in. Got to got to hold them to no runs right here. Ball two, a pie. So you know there's a little bit of a pressure for this uh, in county district rivalry.
Out off. And Striker. there goes our camera again. Damn it! I'll be back. <laughs> This view of the sky is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. That's going to be a ball off the play. Close, though. That's going to be a swing and a miss for strike three for Boot to start out. That will bring Cambria Hansen to the plate. Six hole hitter. We, as we mentioned, we did have the camera hit and we are working on trying to get that fixed. There we go, we are back. Cody, great job as usual, my friend. That'll be ball one high. What happened? <laughs> did we get an out? We had a strikeout, yes, okay, that good. was. Uh, Addison went down swinging. Okay. So one down here with Cambria Hansen at the plate. Our camera's taken a beating today. Yes, it has. <laughs> Off foul balls, pass balls, curve balls, and many rise balls. One ball, one strike. So we're just going to pray it holds out. Good That's pitch. another one, nice one. Two strikes. One, two. Change up in the dirt. Nice job by Hanson there laying off that one. Yeah, you could tell she was wanting that one. Yeah, I don't think I could ever lay off a change up, Cody, if they threw me one. I don't either. When you're looking for a 50-mile-an-hour 50, 50 fastball and yeah. something – 40 miles an hour comes out of the hand. That's going to be popped up. That will hit the net foul. We'll re count will remain 2-2. Two -two. <coughs> Shade starting to creep in, Cody. In yeah, the outfield, yeah. right, actually right now the right fielder is the only one that's really standing in much sun. Yeah, right side of the field. Yeah. Down, foul ball. hit foul down left field line. Just to the left side of third base. So Hanson staying alive here, battling, battling it out. And as uh, as crucial as Summertown is to have a clean inning, like you were saying, Loretta desperately is wanting some more separation because they know two runs isn't anything That's be for this hit. group. Lindsey's got it. And that'll be uh, another out. Throw it across the infield quickly, so that'll be two down. And that will bring up Carl, Carly Urban. Now to bat, oh, number 20. We flipped. Carly. Well, and the way the ball's flying out of here, Cody, you know, it's it's one error or a walk, and then, a, you know, a ball you leave up, and the, t and the game's tied. Yep. You know, you just got to be, if you can get separation, you need to. It'll be ball one, high and away. Fouled off by Carl. Good <laughs> cut right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? We about lost our camera again. Do you think we should just quit attaching it to the thing at all? I don't. I don't know what better to do. I mean, that's. I told you what we should do with the helmet cams. You put one on the kid, and we just have live helmet cams the whole game. That's a hard grounder to second base, but Reagan's gonna grab it. Nice. And that'll be Let's three go. outs. So this is it for Summertown. If they're gonna try to keep their district record as undefeated, they're gonna have to do it here, trailing seven to five. Yep. So they've got one chance here, Cody, to try to get back in this thing, or that'll be it. Loretta leading 7 to 5, headed into the bottom of the 7th. You're listening to Loretta and Summertown Softball on the X Sports Network. Articare keeps your home or business comfortable. 
For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. All right, fans, we are back. We got it. We've got. We've had a good one, Cody. Then the dog fight. Yeah, it's been. Forth. It's uh, Loretta had a huge first inning, and uh, ever since then, Summertown's been so doing here, some damage control. Yeah. So here's your situation: Summertown trailing seven to five, bottom of the seventh. Lindsay up to start things off. She's going to take a first pitch strike. Summertown needing two runs to keep this thing going, and three runs to win it. Uh, They're going to have to try to get it done here against Cozart. Fish to Lindsay. Fouled off, so Lindsay's in an 0-2 hole. And there goes the camera again. <laughs> so we're going to kill – we're going to black it out. You just keep talking. All right. We're doing the best to get this thing back going, but it keeps – they keep jacking it up. But we'll see what we got. So Lindsay here with no balls and two strikes on her, leading off the inning. We have Burleson on deck. Lindsay's going to call timeout. She's not patient. All right. 0-2 pitch from Cozart. Here it comes. That will be way high, ball one. If you're Lindsay here, you just need to relax and, you know, any way you can get on a single, you know, just try to get something through the infield, look for something pitch you can get through and try to get a base runner and get Summertown going. Cozart's got her in a one ball, two strike hole to start pitch that's going to be popped up but it should get out of play i think oh and it ricochets off that could have been bad luckily uh the way it hit uh, if that had hit somebody briley had to jump out of the way of that one that was kind of dangerous but Lindsay's going to get to stay alive here with a one ball two strike count So we, we're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> For now. Pitch to Lindsay. Rise ball. Not kidding. She'll What's take? the count? 2-2. Two, two. All right, let's update the scoreboard for you. Two balls, two strikes. Lindsay leading off the inning. No outs here. Bottom seven. Summertown trying to tie this thing up at least if they can. Pitch. Change up. My gosh. Strike three. And a beautiful pitch from Cozart. Yeah. Beautiful. You got to swing the bat. You got to keep your weight back. And it's not something you can do going down like that. Not away when your team needs you. That just can't happen. That will bring Burleson up. One out here. In the bottom of the seventh. Pitch. Ball one high. Got to relax. Got to have, got to have some hits right here for Summertown. That'll be a grounder right to the second baseman. She's going to boot it, and that Summertown will have a runner on base. Tough luck there. You know, I know you want to make that play code, but I will say too, man, this infield today, man, they've been oh, bouncing okay. all over Hard. the place. Hard. Yeah, yeah that ball's been going all over the place on this infield today. Usually, it's not too. Not much like that usually, no, typically. I don't know. Really. I don't think somebody may come out here with a uh, uh, one of those uh, track back vacuum cleaners and sucked up a bunch of the dirt. <laughs> I mean, something happened. All right, Jones up. One out here for Summertown. Pitch. Ball one high. Reagan Burleson on deck. Runner on first base is Burleson. One out. If you're Loretta here, something hard on the ground, you might be able to try to turn it and end this thing. Pitch. Oh, that's going to get over the backstop. That's going That hurts because that also takes the force out of play. 
it's not something you want for sure. And there goes our camera again. Adam, I just don't know what to do, buddy. We're going to give the umpire and make a helmet cam next time. <laughs> we'll have the umpire have it on his head. That would be awesome. All right, two balls, no strikes here to Jones. Here's the pitch. That's going to be fouled off. It just keeps getting jacked up. Bless America. I don't know. This will be ongoing. I would. Uh, I'm going to take it down and kind of back it off the fence a little bit. So yeah, I'll just keep yeah, talking. You're going to have to. All right. Jones is going to foul that one off. So that will get it to two balls, one strike. Burleson moved up to second on the pass ball. Oh, excuse me, on the wild pitch. That's going to be down and in, a little low, 3-1. Close pitch, though. So 3-1. Jones ready to go. Cozart stepping onto the rubber. Here we go. Change up. 3-2 now. So three balls, two strikes here on Hannah Jones. Runner on second is Burleson. One out. Reagan Burleson on deck for Summertown. Here's the pitch. That's going to be hit foul out of play. That should go over into the road. Please explain why there's movement in the camera. Hmm. Please explain to everybody why we've got to. Yeah, we have had to move this camera. It has been hit 26 times today and knocked off the fence. So we're doing the best we can right now to keep you guys where you can at least see what's going on. We do have a full count on Jones with a runner on second. And here's the pitch. It's going to be hit foul again. Jones up there fighting with two strikes on her. Here's the payoff pitch to Jones. Change up right at the third baseman. They got one and two, and there's your ball game. So that's how the game will end, is a the second line out that Loretta's had this game on a line out double play, and the third they've turned all together, including a one hit back to the pitcher. So great job by Loretta today. They've come out ready to play, Cody. Uh, I'll get, let you get back on here, my friend. Yeah. Uh, any last second comments before we get uh, off we here? We just uh, we got outplayed there uh, for Summertown. If you're uh, if you're an Eagle fan, we just we didn't come out as high as we wanted to, and uh, it just showed. Uh, first inning hole of five zero was kind of hard to do a deficit, but congratulations to Loretta. That's that's by far an excellent played game, uh, and so congrats to them on the uh, district win. Yep, Loretta came out ready to play today. Congratulations to Briley Dover. I believe she's three for four on the day. Two bombs, uh, including the grand slam. Um, and Cozart hits one as well. Uh, but they came to play today, ready to roll, and Summertown did not. And that's what happens. And uh, Loretta making a lot of improvements, very similar to last year, Cody. Yep. Starts out rough, and the next thing you know, here they come. Yep. And uh, I'm not shocked at all by this bunch. But they played great today, and they deserve this one. Um, and so, as we move forward, Summertown will be here tomorrow night at 5.30 against Forrest. And I will tell you, uh, Loretta's a really solid softball team, and they outplayed Summertown today for sure. But Summertown's going to have to step up because uh, it won't be 7-5 to five against Forrest. If you play like that today, it'll be about 15-5 to five because they're going to come out and go to work. Forrest has a good club. so Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. And... That will be tomorrow night, and then we'll be headed to Giles, which is definitely a huge game now because basically that Giles County game is going to be for the district. Yep. Uh, because basically right now you're tied with Giles County with one loss in the district. The winner of that game will be in the driver's seat for the district and pretty much have it uh, with only two games remaining, uh, if you could hold on to those. And the loser is uh, – going to be very likely looking at a two spot uh, for sure so summertown will be playing for the district against giles county uh thursday night no matter what cody 
So we're good to go, my friend? Yep, we're ready to rock and roll. Cody, I appreciate your help, and sorry about the camera yeah, getting knocked we'll, down 75 uh, times today. We'll so. do some work on that before tomorrow, so yep. see if I can work that out. All right, guys, for Cody and all the work he's done, and Adam Lindsay, you've been watching Summertown and Loretta Softball on the Exports Network.